Sandra. A towing company under fire and now facing a federal lawsuit. Breakthrough Towing accused of illegally towing people parked in Midtown and attorneys representing some victims even claim tow drivers asked some of them if they would perform sexual acts to get their cars back. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is live tonight and Hank, this is a big step forward for the victims. Uh, Sandra, it really is. Here's a copy of that federal lawsuit. And as you mentioned, in one scenario, a tow truck driver allegedly said to a woman whose car was being towed, I'll take it off the truck, but you have to have sex with me. By now, you've likely heard the story. Breakthrough towing, uh, targeting people either parked at this McDonald's or a nearby party store down the block. Uh, for their part, Breakthrough says what they're doing is legal. But as you will see, the victims coming together now saying that this is outrageous. This federal lawsuit lays it all out. Several victims banding together, many sharing similar stories. They allegedly parked legally, were towed by breakthrough towing, and then paid hefty fines to recover their rides. They're now taking legal action, going after the company and some businesses like McDonald's and Midtown. Attorneys claiming they're in on the deal. And they would give the McDonald's worker a kickback uh, of, of a certain amount of money, like $60 or whatever it is, for giving kind of the referral. Attorneys representing at least one victim claims that she was told if she wanted her car back, she needed to do the unthinkable. Uh, instead of paying the amount of money for cash that is normally required, she could sleep with this individual and they'd call it a deal. We've been following this story for more than a year. Victims telling us they've been taken for a ride by breakthrough. I contacted the police to report it stolen and a customer told me that they saw my car being towed. Steve Johnson, one of those who paid big just to get his car back. Also named in the lawsuit, police in Detroit and Hamtramck. Attorneys believe they ignored laws themselves, allowing this unlicensed towing company to keep the scam going. Back out here live, no comment tonight from McDonald's, which was named in the lawsuit. Also no comment from Detroit PD regarding the allegation that some are in fact getting cash kickbacks, helping breakthrough carrying out this alleged scam. We're live here tonight in Midtown. Hank Winchester, back to you. And Hank, do we think that Breakthrough is still doing this? Are they still towing cars? Well, Sandra, the latest information we have is that the Breakthrough company, the name no longer exists. That name may now have changed. And some say, attorneys at least today, say they're still hearing from victims as recently as last week, saying mm. they are being towed by a company affiliated with Breakthrough. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Hank.